and welcome to Business Notes. I'm your host, Diane Bogino. Our guest today is David Newman. David Newman is a marketing expert and best-selling author. David's latest book is Do It Marketing, 77 Instant Action Ideas to Boost Sales, Maximize Profits, and Crush Your Competition. David is a professional speaker and marketing strategist who works with companies, entrepreneurs, and groups who want to generate more leads, better prospects, and bigger sales. David will share with you today what his clients value the most, actionable marketing strategies and tactics to dramatically improve your business. David, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Diane, it's great to be here. Thank you. David, so what advice are you giving business owners today that's drastically different from even five years ago? Well, Diane, five years ago, you have to remember, social media was in its infancy. Facebook was just for college kids. There was no Twitter. <laughs> Blogging was for techno nerds and consultants. So today thought leadership marketing, content marketing, really what I call marketing for smart people is one of the key strategies that five years ago it was optional, it was a nice to have, today it's a have to have. Wow. And there's so much noise out there, David. I mean, how can a business owner be heard and how can they get above all that noise? Well, there is a lot of noise. There is an awful lot of noise and there's a lot of competition and there's a lot of what I call samo lamo marketing. <laughs> People that sound the same, they talk about the same kind of products, the same kind of services, the same old way, the same old cliches. It's our quality. It's our service. <laughs> no, wait. It's our people. <laughs> our people make the difference. And of course, none of that, you know, if you sound the same, look the same, smell the same as every other company that does what you do, you're dead. So I think now the way to break through the noise, a lot of folks would say it's branding. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, in the small business world, branding is often just a whole bunch of smoke and mirrors. My answer is it's clarity. Clarity about what you do clarity about who you serve and clarity about who you want to do business with the most as soon as you have that clarity as a business owner as a service professional as any sort of business clarity leads to the confidence that your buyer is going to get what they think they're going to get so if you have clarity your buyers have confidence and confident buyers buy confused buyers do not buy they go someplace else that's true so what are some of the no-no's on sales that you see people making? Well, so sales is a whole, a whole hornet's nest of bad habits and, and miscommunication and old information that's still being bandied about today. So when it comes to sales, anything that you can think of in the category of the old school sales training, manipulation, closing techniques, uh, lines, like, oh, I, I have your business card on my desk, you know, <laughs> lying to prospects. Yikes. All of that old school sales 101, sales mm -hmm. training from the 70s, sales training from the 80s, all of that has to go out the window. Now it's really about intelligent prospecting, high touch, high value, high probability, selling to people who are a, the best fit for your business. Wow. But David, there's so much marketing, so many choices on marketing today. How can people prioritize what they need to do and stay focused? Well, so two criteria, that's a great question. There are, there's overwhelming. People are, their brains are fried. There's so many marketing <laughs> options. So, you know, what should I do online? What should I do offline? Should I do blogging, video, social media, uh, content marketing, digital advertising? <laughs> So as a small business owner, or really as any sort of business owner, any sort of executive or entrepreneur, the first criteria is what do you find easy, effortless, and enjoyable? Hmm. I call that the three E's. Because basically, the marketing and the selling activities that you have to do, you got to do them day in, day out, rain or shine, happy or sad. <laughs> it's like, well, I don't really feel like doing marketing. Hey, if you're running a business, you got to do marketing. You got to do business development. If you don't find it easy, effortless, and enjoyable, you're simply not going to do it. So the important thing is to find that mix. And again, people make the mistake, well, I have to do everything. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you, you don't have to do everything. You're here to select two or three macro level strategies at the most and lean into those as much as you can 
push hard into those and then figure out, well, what are my prospects going to resonate with? What kind of marketing channels, what kind of marketing media do they consume? Of those, which do I find easy, effortless, and enjoyable? And that's your bullseye. Speaking of threes, can you give our viewers like three tips that they can implement right now to boost their marketing efforts? I can. Good. And some of this is going to be bad news for uh -oh. some people. Sorry about the bad news, <laughs> but here it comes. Number one, the black marker test. And in my seminars and workshops, we talk about this. It's take out a piece of marketing material. Could be your website. Could be your brochure. Could be a sales letter. Take a black Sharpie. Black out your company name. Black out your logo and then ask yourself one key question. Could a prospect of yours get this information, not see your name, not see your logo, and could they easily mistake it for a piece of marketing from your competition? If so, you're looking at a piece of same old lame old marketing that I mentioned earlier. So that's number one is the black marker test. Number two is I call the so what test. So again, looking at all of your claims, looking at all your sales copy, all your marketing copy, relentlessly ask the question, so what? What's the value? What's the differentiator? A pivotal phrase that people can use right now to fix that second problem, the so what problem, is to start using the phrase, so that. So you say, well, we have 73 years of experience. Oh, so what? Who cares about that? We have 73 years of experience so that you know you're getting proven solutions, right? We have X so that you know you're getting benefit Y. So that's number two. Number three, the third test that you can apply to your marketing right away and get major, major boost in results is the, the who says. Who says is the question. Who says test. The who says test is what are you putting in your marketing by way of indisputable points of proof. So third party proof, awards that you've won, testimonials, audio testimonials, video testimonials, written testimonials. I call these indisputable points of proof. These are stone cold provable facts that when you make a marketing claim, someone says, well, who says? You say, well, the Chamber of Commerce says because we won the top 40 under 40 award last year. Um, who says that we're, you know, we're in a restaurant, so, well, we're Zagat certified. We got a 27 out of 30 score. That's who says. So find some of these indisputable points of proof in your business and start to articulate them and lead with them so that people know you're the real deal. Really? Tell us about your new book. My, thank you for asking. <laughs> My new book is called Do It Marketing. And the, the subtitle of the book is 77 Instant Action Strategies to Boost Sales, Maximize Profits, and Crush Your Competition. Mm. It sounds kind of mean, right? <laughs> to crush your competition, kill, crush, <laughs> crumble. Um, but the interesting thing about the book, and the reason I'm excited about the book, unlike so many marketing books, this is a sales-focused marketing book. So a lot of marketing books talk about branding or marketing for the sake of marketing. I'm sharing a ton of ideas that will help you do marketing to drive sales, marketing to ring the cash register. And the difference is marketing for the sake of marketing gives you a lot of activity, gives you a lot of what my clients call marketing jobs, like, oh, God, I got more marketing jobs. <laughs> Whereas sales-driven marketing is marketing that will get you clients marketing that will get you customers, marketing that will get you profits and revenues and cash in the bank. So uh, the book is really for people who want to tune up their marketing and it's for folks who want to do a better job at selling. And some of these things that we talked about, for example, are in the book. So how do you do the black marker test? How do you do your indisputable points of proof? How do you sort of arrange your marketing language bank so that you can articulate your fabulousness? Wonderful. And why should people buy that book today? Well, they should buy that book today because of all the fabulous bonuses that they all get. Right. And some of these are marketing bonuses and some of these are sales bonuses. And is it okay to give folks the website? Oh, absolutely. So it's www.doitmarketing.com slash book. <laughs> Doitmarketing.com slash book. And uh, there's literally over $700 of bonuses. And again, some of these are, are, are full programs from some of my partners, some of the book contributors. Uh, some of them are ebooks, some of them are audio resources, some of them are video resources, uh, just a ton 
uh, of goodies that you get for pre-ordering the book or ordering the book, depending on when you, when you read this and see this, uh, online and on TV. Uh, but I just, I'm so thrilled and so excited by all the folks that have gotten behind this book, both marketing gurus that I respect and sales gurus that I respect to put together this fabulous bunch of marketing and business development goodies. Well, I'm going to look forward to that and I know our viewers will too. David, thank you so much for your sage advice. We really appreciate you taking time out to visit us all the way from Philadelphia. All the way from Philly. <laughs> Thanks, Diane. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on Business Notes. I'm Diane Bogino, bringing you business ideas you can bank on.